Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So once again, unfortunately, we have another Windows update issue. And this time, it's a bug that has been caused by the May Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 11, which is affecting Windows 11 22H2 and the original release version 21H2. And the bug is causing high File Explorer CPU usage. And um, yeah, is the update, KB5026372, which was the May Patch Tuesday security update. Now, Microsoft has listed this issue as a known issue over on their Known Issues Health Dashboard page, where they say that after installing updates released on May 9, 2023, or later updates. So that would include any other update that was installed after the May Patch Tuesday updates. You might be unable to view effective access in the Advanced Security Settings dialog for shared files or folders. Now that's quite a mouthful, but just to give you an idea as to what this issue is all about. If I just quickly head over to my file explorer, and I'm gonna use this image, this file as an example. Now this bug is only affecting shared files or folders, and this is not a shared file, but I'm sure you'll get the general idea. If I right click on that file or folder and hit properties, yeah, in the properties menu at the top, if we click on the security tab, and then we click on the advanced security settings tab yeah at the bottom it opens up this menu and yeah you'll see the effective access tab and if we click on that it opens up the effective access menu which allows you to view the effective permissions for a user group or device account so that's just a brief overview as to what effective access is all about and microsoft says this is where the problem is arising they say on affected devices when the view effective access button is selected so this view effective access button which is grayed out on my machine because this file is not shared but if it is a shared file you will see view effective access and if you select that uh, button you will receive the message computing effective access instead of being able to access the actual menu so that's where the problem is originating and then what happens um, explorer.exe and explorer.exe by the way uh, is your file explorer, your start menu, your taskbar, your notification center as an example. It's basically the shell of your operating system. Explorer.exe might continue to use CPU after the advanced security settings dialog is closed. So even if you close this advanced security settings menu, um, your CPU usage will continue to be quite high. So that means it has a negative effect on your system performance and your system resources. And... Um, just one thing to take note of though, Microsoft does say that this issue is unlikely to be experienced by consumers using Windows devices in their home. So um, this issue most probably won't affect you if you are an average home user, mainly affecting corporations and enterprises. But I'm just putting it out there um, because you may, be, um, you may be affected by this issue and I just want to keep you updated and posted like we do like to do on the channel. Now, although this is a known issue, there is a temporary workaround and fix according to Microsoft where they say, that restarting your device or signing out for the affected, affected user may resolve the issue. So if we head to our power button, as I always do suggest with most issues, first of all, try restarting your device. Don't shut down, restart. And um, you can also, as an alternative, try signing out. Now, just take note that locking your device and then signing back in will not resolve the issue. You need to sign out or restart your device. So just take note of that. And um, that will resolve the issue until Microsoft says um, they roll out an official fix. Now they do say they are working on a resolution and estimate a solution will be available in late June 2023. Now that's interesting because next week we are expecting Microsoft to start rolling out the next optional bug fix update for Windows 11, which most probably will start rolling out next week Tuesday the 27th of June 2023 so hopefully that fix will be rolled out as an official fix uh, in that optional bug fix update and as mentioned is affecting Windows 11 version 22H2 and the original release of Windows 11 which is version 21H2 which is that bug causing high file explorer CPU usage so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one